Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to go over another example of how to use molar mass as a conversion factor. So in this problem it's going to be a little bit more complicated because we're going to have to use molar mass along with some other uh, conversion factors that we're going to need to use. So let's get into this. So in this problem we're asked, uh, well we're given an aspirin tablet and we're told that it contains 325 milligrams of acetosalicylic acid say that three times really fast um, and here they give you the formula for that uh, molecule and so now they're asking us how many molecules of acetosalicylic acid does this tablet contain and so we need to convert the grams or in this case milligrams of the uh, acetosalicylic acid to uh, molecules which is a particle so that means we're going to have to use molar mass to convert grams to moles or mass to moles right and then we're going to need to use Avogadro's number one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles or in this case molecules and so uh, that's what we're going to need to use but we also need to convert milligrams into grams because we can't use molar mass until we have grams because molar mass is the amount of grams we have that's equal to one mole of the substance. So in order to use that conversion factor, we need to use the molar, we need to convert to, to grams. So we have the molar mass here of the substance, 180.15 grams per mole, um, but we're gonna need to convert milligrams to grams. So we need a relationship between milligrams and grams. So the way I always figure this out, if you don't have this memorized, then an easy way to figure this out is to set them equal to each other. Set the units equal to each other is what I mean. So I'll take uh, grams. So we're going to have a certain number of grams is equal to a certain number of milligrams. And so what you need to then do is what I like to do in my, my strategy is I put the one. I always put the one with the prefix. So the unit that has the prefix is get, gets the one. So I'm going to put the one here. And so next, this is where you need to have a knowledge of the prefix multipliers for each prefix, right? You have to know that kilo means a thousand or 10 to the third. You need to know that uh, mega is 10 to the sixth power, right? Or you need to know that micro is 10 to the negative sixth power. Right. So you need to know those prefix multipliers. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do this very well. So here, milli is the prefix. So the prefix multiplier is 10 to the negative three, one one thousandth of the base unit. And I'm going to put that with the base unit here. So that's going to get 10 to the negative three. So that is the equality that I can use to convert milligrams to grams. So and of course, we also need one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, so that's the first step. Uh, there's two steps in any um, word problem that you're trying to solve. The first step is to pull out the information, pull out your, um, your conversion factors, any relationships that you have. Now, these two, we just pulled out of our knowledge of other things and molar mass, we pulled out from the periodic table, calculating that from the formula. And so now that we have everything we need as far as conversion factors go, we now, the second thing is that we need to figure out what to begin with and where we're ending. What's the beginning? What's the ending? And that's where the question comes in. So the question always tells us the ending. The beginning of the question tells us what the ending is. So the beginning of the question here is how many molecules of acetylsalicylic acid? So that's where we got to go. That's our ending. We need to calculate the number of molecules of acetylsalicylic acid. So I'm going to call that AA for short. So here, we need to get to molecules, oops, not, mole, not, not moles, molecules 
of AA. I'll just call it AA, acetosalicylic acid. Okay, so where, but where, what are we going to begin with? That's where we look at the question or we look somewhere else in the problem. A lot of times it's going to be in the question itself, but here it's not in the question, but we do have this 325 milligrams, right? So we know that one, one tablet of, of aspirin has 325 milligrams of the acetosalicylic acid. So we're going to start with that, 325 milligrams of AA. So now that we know where we're, what we begin with, where we're going, all we need to do is start here and use our conversion factor. So we're going to multiply until we get from here to here. We're going to get multiplied by conversion factors. So let's start. So we're going to start by the fact that we have 325 milligrams or better yet most likely since this is a conversion factor they're asking us uh how much or how many molecules of acetosalicylic acid does this tablet contain this tablet means we have one tablet so we start with one tablet and we're going to convert the amount of uh, that one tablet into the amount of molecules and the number of molecules for uh, that uh, of acetosalicylic acid. So let's start with one tablet. So we have with this one tablet of aspirin. I'm going to put over one. So then we can convert that tablet into milligrams of acetosalicylic acid. So we're going to use this equality. We're going to use that as a conversion factor. So one tablet and then you have 325 milligrams of AA, acetosalicylic acid. And then the tablets cancel out. Now you could skip this part, but I'm going to be complete um, you could have started with 325 milligrams of acetosalicylic acid and then go from there. Um, but, you know, you could also start with the fact that they give you one tablet. If they gave you multiple tablets, then you would have to start with the number of tablets and then use this to convert to milligrams and then go from there. So I'm doing an extra step that you probably don't need to do, but I'm just doing this for completion. Um, so now that I have milligrams of AA... Now I can convert milligrams to grams using this conversion right here, this fact, conversion factor, this equality. I know, oops. Sorry about that. So I know that uh, one milligram is equal to 10 to the third grams or one one thousandth of a gram. I have milligrams on top, so I'm going to put one milligram on the bottom. So I have one milligram of AA on the bottom, and I'm going to have 10 to the negative three grams on top, grams of AA. So milligrams of AA cancel out. Now I have grams. So now I can use my molar mass to convert to moles. So now I'm going to do another conversion factor. I'm going to use the molar mass now. So molar mass is 180.15 grams per mole. I have grams of A on the bottom, so I'm going to put grams on the, the I have grams on the top here, so I'm going to put grams on the bottom here. So I have 180.15. So that's 180.15 grams of AA. And then I'm going to have one mole on top. So one mole of AA on the top. Grams of AA cancels out. Now I have moles. Now I can use Avogadro's number to convert from moles to particles, or in this case, molecules of AA. So one last step. So one mole 
I have one mole here, I have moles here. I'm gonna have moles on the bottom, so one mole of AA on the bottom. And then this is going to be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of AA. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I'm going to write M-O-L-E-C for short. And then AA. So moles of AA cancel out. Now I have molecules of AA on the top. That's exactly what they're asking. How many molecules of acetosalicylic acid? So I'm done. Now all I need to do is multiply and divide. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by everything across. So I'm going to have to multiply 325 by 10 to the negative 3. Multiply that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And then I'm going to divide by everything on the bottom. Everything's one except for the 180. So I'm going to divide by, uh, by 180.15. And I get my final answer. And it's equal to 1.8008. Sorry. 1.086. What was my calculator? Give me four. Four zero 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 two two or something like that. Four zero 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 two two times ten to the twenty one molecules of AA. Let me double check this really quick. Okay. So this is a little off, so that should be a two there. So misread the number of zeros. All right, so here is the number of molecules of acetosalicylic acid that I have in this one tablet. That's the first step. The second step is to figure out the number of sig figs. Again, the rule for sig figs is that since we're multiplying and dividing, our answer, the number of sig figs in our answer has to be equal to the number of sig figs in the least number of, of our measures, right? So uh, we have to eliminate anything that is exact. So this one milligram to 10 to the uh, negative three grams, that's an exact relationship if you, because we're looking at metric, uh, metric mass to metric mass. So that's exact, that's true by definition. Uh, this is a measure, the, the, um, the molar mass is a measure, so we'll have to pay attention to that. And this is a measure. So here we have five, five sig figs. Here we have four sig figs. And here we have three. So the least number is three. So our answer can only have three sig figs. So we'll keep one, two, three, cut it off there. So this is going to be 1.09 times 10 to the 21 molecules of acetosalicylic acid. So that, ladies and gentlemen, would be our final answer. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you learn in any way, then please, by all means, like the video. Hit that like button over there. Make sure you share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. When you do, hit that notification bell. And uh, also, when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click all so you'll be notified by all the videos I put out. And then finally, put a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions. If you have any suggestions for future videos or if you have something you want me to cover, please let me know. I would love to do that for you. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.